GMGM, my name is Josh Gordon, I'm your host, and today we're gonna do the weekly crypto recap in under five minutes. I'm talking about the biggest news stories in Web3 and crypto that you need to know about. Let's dive in. With story number one, I wanna talk about Web3 education. Do you wanna be a Web3 developer? Well, listen up, this story's for you. So Alchemy is a big Web3 developer platform and they just announced their Alchemy University. Now I'm always on the lookout for educational resources to share with you and this one is really awesome. So their mission is to bring 1 billion people to Web3 and that means providing developers with resources they need to build really good experience and products. And so this is for you if you wanna dive in as a Web3 beginner developer, if you're a seasoned developer, they have tons of courses here. Their bootcamp covers cryptography, solidity development, smart contract security, and you can even get into projects that build NFT marketplaces and exchanges and games. So this seems to really have a course for everybody. They recommend the JavaScript fundamentals course for those who don't have much experience in Web3 development, since JavaScript is the core for Ethereum development. You can apply for access now. Follow the link in the description. With story number two, let's talk about music NFTs. So Warner Music Group is hiring for an interesting Web3 role. Music NFTs have been a trending topic for months and we've seen artists launch campaigns, experiment, and even sell them from big established artists to new Web3 artists too. But the concept of collecting and owning music NFTs hasn't really taken off in the mainstream. That's not stopping Warner Music Group from continuing their Web3 strategy development and hiring a senior director for metaverse development. This is what the role is about. The role will be responsible for launching initiatives beyond core music streaming by engaging music fans in scaled, culturally relevant digital platforms and communities through social and gaming use cases, as well as immersive experiences. Reading through the description in more detail, it strikes me as it's less about NFTs and more about engagement opportunities, which really means ways to integrate artists in video games and VR, AR experiences. So the metaverse seems to be taking a rebrand from VR, AR and being more closely aligned with gaming. So this is something to keep an eye on as a Web3 artist. I would think about how you can do interesting activations using Web3 versus just selling NFTs because there's a lot of room for experimentation here. With story number three, let's talk about Web3 identity. So this was a great thread on Web3 Identity by Kyle Samani, who's the managing partner at Multicoin Capital. And he talks about how traditional identities we use in Web2 are things like Facebook and email, but these didn't mean much at first. Not until you got friends on Facebook or people actually started to send you things and information via email. And then both took a big jump when SSO single sign-on took place and you started signing into applications using these two identities. So he says the key to all of this is that your ID is a function of how others perceive your actions. To have an identity, you have to do stuff. And that identity has to have crossover value between your accumulated social capital and the applications you engage with on the internet. And that's exactly what we're working towards on Unstoppable Domains. So domains are like email addresses in the sense that they give you an easy name for people to identify with and send you stuff to. So you can send crypto to an Unstoppable NFT domain, just like you can send information to someone's email. And we're working to get login integrated into hundreds and even thousands of applications one day. And slowly, by attributing data to your domain, it will have crossover value as you navigate the internet. So his points on how Web3 identity really needs that crossover data and how SSO could really be a big step in where identity is going in Web3 is just what Unstoppable is thinking about. So I love to see that connection there. In Unstoppable Domains news, one inch is now integrated with Unstoppable Domains, so we're thrilled to announce that the one inch wallet has integrated Unstoppable Domains and gives DeFi users an easy way to send, receive, and manage their crypto. If you're a DeFi enthusiast and you're looking for new ways to manage your crypto portfolio, try connecting your Unstoppable Domain over at oneinch.io, and it's a great user experience, so check them out. We also dropped a fantastic podcast this week on the Unstoppable Podcast with Adam Levy, host of the Mint Podcast and founder of Bello. He shared some really actionable tips on how Web3 creators can utilize free NFTs to grow and engage with their community. This is one of my favorite podcast interviews to date, so give it a listen, and if you do, please write a review on Apple Podcasts or drop a review on Spotify, it means a lot. For the community member of the week, 
I want to give a shout out to Desi Thesi.nft. I saw your reply to Binance on one of their tweets, and you made some great points on why Unstoppable Domains brings value to our members. So shout out to you for the support. And with the NFT project of the week, we got a shout out Amber Vittoria. She's a member of the UD fam and this week sold one of her pieces to MoonPay for 30 ETH. That's a huge sale. Congrats to you. Looks like they're partnering together too. So keep an eye out on what that entails. And she even dropped a new book recently. So tons of stuff from Amber. Awesome to see you succeeding as a Web3 artist. And that's it for the weekly crypto recap. Thank you so much for listening. Please, if you're on YouTube, drop a subscribe and let us know what you think in the comments section. I want to make sure I'm bringing new stories that are actionable and insightful to you because Web3 moves fast and it's hard to keep up to date. So with that, I'll catch you on Twitter. I'll see you in the metaverse. Thanks for watching. Peace out.